quick disclaimer. This is comedy, not financial advice. Ask a pro before you risk the burrito fund. Picture interest rates set by a TikTok poll starring dancing economists. Spoiler, the economy might moonwalk, then faceplant harder than a skateboard fail compilation. Meet Casey, 15, phone glued to hand, heart guided by likes and the price of avocado toast. Casey votes for a 5% rate cut. Cheaper sneakers feel heroic. Grandma Dot votes for a 10% hike. Dreaming her savings can finally outpace the couch cushion stash. The TikTok algorithm whirs, showering glitter gifts over their clashing wishes. Seconds later, the poll closes. Neon confetti crowns a 7% cut the winner. Strap in. We're about to crunch the boring but vital math of the fallout. The real Fed moves in baby steps. About a quarter percent, roughly the width of a single hair on a chart. Why so tiny? Money is like chili powder. A pinch warms, a spoon ruins dinner. Our TikTok fantasy just ladled chili by the bucket into the national stew. First domino, mortgage rates chase the cut, plunging like surfers down a steep wave. Casey cheers. Those house dreams suddenly look bogo. Grandma Dot grumbles. Her bank interest is shrinking like a wool sweater in hot wash. Next ripple, the dollar weakens. Vacation pizza in Italy now costs way more bucks. Imported phones jump in price. Casey frowns. Sneakers saved, smartphone upgrade shelved. Investors, smelling chaos, text each other faster than cats chase lasers. The stock market rockets then belly flops, like a toddler on a sugar trampoline. Meanwhile, Fed Chair Jerome Powell cameo, eyebrows practically scrape the ceiling. He mutters his favorite spell, quantitative easing, while mopping up the glitter spill. Time to decode. What even is an interest rate, beyond banker bedtime stories? Think of money as water in pipes. Interest is the faucet knob that controls the flow. Turn the knob left, water gushes, loans get cheap, spending splashes everywhere. Turn right, drick, credit cards sulk while savings jars slowly fill. The Fed meets eight times a year to nudge the knob a hair, after crunching data like squirrels. They study inflation, test the dollar's aroma, tally jobs, then announce changes in a polite monotone. Wall Street waits like nervous meerkats, heads popping above keyboards at every syllable. Because a quarter percent tweak can drain or fill billions, compound interest loves compounding drama. Example, a 300k mortgage at 4% costs about $1,400 a month. Drop the rate to 3.75% and the payment falls roughly $40. Hello streaming and taco night. Raise it the same amount and payments climb. Casey loses tacos. Sadness follows. Credit cards react faster than jittery chihuahuas. Rates jump days after the Fed speaks. So letting TikTok yank the knob is like giving that chihuahua a triple espresso. But wait, democracy feels great, so why not vote on money stuff? We vote on leaders, parks, even Eurovision songs. So should cash pipes be different? Economists warn of the tragedy of the commons. Everyone grabs freebies until the field turns to mud. Interest rates are that pasture. Overgraze cheap loans and debt weeds choke growth. Plus, trends move faster than factories. You can't rebuild an auto plant every meme week. Imagine rates dancing with viral songs. Up Monday, down Tuesday. The economy would get motion sickness. Inflation would ping pong. Price tags would turn into slot machines. Workers can't price salaries, bosses shrug, and paychecks arrive like surprise loot boxes. Eventually, trust evaporates. The currency slaps on a clown nose. Hello, hyperinflation. Historical footnote. Weimar Germany printed cash to pay bills. Bread cost wheelbarrows. Nobody laughed. So the Fed relies on a sheltered committee, arguably slow but stable, like the tortoise beating the hare. Yet even they sway with vibes. Remember the mean stock craze that forced them to clarify nothing? Words alone move markets. Powell whispers, possibly transitory, and traders freak, linguistic sorcery. The Fed is halfway meme lord already, just gray suits instead of cat filters. Casey learns, power without homework wrecks wallets. Time to study compound interest before the next tap. Grandma Dot Nons offers cookies and a real savings bond, sweet and stable. Reality check, federal law won't let dance challenges set rates. Phew. Still, your voice matters. Vote for leaders who pick the policymakers. Moral. Tiny numbers steer huge ships, so pay attention, even to quarter points. Next time you hear rate hike, picture the faucet knob. Your taco budget depends on it. Casey keeps scrolling, thumbs ready, but eyes wiser. Tomorrow's economic adventure awaits.